when it comes to hockey gloves, we all have the same problem. It's those damn holes. Well, there is a solution to this, and that's glove repalming. I've never tried this before, but I've always wondered if it's worth doing. Well, we're gonna find out. 10 months ago, I grabbed some old gloves, boxed them up, and sent them to a local shop to get them repalmed. This ended up costing $60 per set, plus $10 to ship. A new pair would have been $150 per set. Basically, what you need to know is I can get two sets of gloves repalmed for the price of one new set, and I still save money. If you don't know what glove repalming is, it's literally when they replace the palm of your glove. Plus, this company had no idea I was making this video. Well, after a quick two-week turnaround, I got my gloves back. But, uh, I was struggling to open the box. No muscles. Oh, I can't even cut it with a knife. <laughs> I was struggling so embarrassing. Real. I know. Oh, boy. This video is going to be really bad. You do a lot of editing on that one. I did get it eventually. Would you look at these beauties? They look brand new, no more holes in the palms, and Bay Area Hockey Repair even cleaned them. We can definitely say Austin was excited. They also felt so good trying them on for the first time. This is nuts. These feel like a brand new pair of gloves. This is amazing. But we really need to get to the rink and see how they perform. Here we go, first game. Try out these gloves that just got repalmed. Pretty nice though. Feel brand new. Brand new, terrible first shot. First impressions weren't so good. Oh my god, I can't even feel the puck right now. Like there's so many times I'm trying to pick up the puck and skate and I just can't feel it. I can't feel anything. I went with double palm so they would last longer, but these things are thick. I couldn't feel my stick and I kept losing the puck. How did I lose that? Oh my god. Yet somehow, I still got some goals. They weren't the prettiest, but I'll take them. I figured I would give them time to break in, and it worked. After a month, I could feel the puck again, and they were actually feeling pretty good. But there still is the most important question. Will these last? They were going strong for quite a while. I didn't notice any wear and tear until four months in. You can see the palm getting damaged and some threads coming undone. Then, after six months of play, Austin's was the first pair to ring. Oh. Oh no. So here's the interesting part. The actual palm was in good shape. The fabric on the side, that is what ripped. It was patched, but not replaced. Well, one month later, mine also broke. Again, the palms were in great shape. It's the threads that failed. And even though my pair lasted one more month than Austin's, I actually got double the use out of them. Austin only plays once a week, and I play twice a week. So in the end, would I recommend getting your gloves repalmed? Now that I'm back to my old gloves, I can confidently say these feel better. But honestly, I would still recommend getting your gloves repalmed. If you're looking for performance, go with a new set. If you want to save a lot of money, get them repalmed. Besides, I'm going to try and fix these and I'm pretty sure I can get at least six months to a year out of them. In the meantime, check out this video where I use these gloves for the first time. Now get out there and play some hockey.